guys welcome back to my channel and to another video i hope you are doing fantastic today we are going to talk about another middle eastern fragrance which is a clone and it will be paris corner cayer pistachio and it is a dupe of Kayali Yam Pistachio Gelato 33. So if you are interested, if this fragrance is similar, what are my impressions about it? Please stay with me. My name is Justina. This is my perfume world. If you like it here, please consider subscribing to this channel, leave a like, leave a comment and let's go. So I must tell you that a year ago, almost a year ago, um, Kayali Yam, Gel Yam Pistachio Gelato was released and I must tell you I wasn't very keen on it. I even had a review and I wasn't very kind <laughs> when it comes to reviewing it. It wasn't my type of scent but I don't know what happened. Maybe I explored Gourmand world more and I got to love Gourmand fragrances more and I love them right now. Everything changed and now I was finding myself thinking about it and even after making a review, um, you know, I gave back uh, the bottle I borrowed for review, I started to think about it, so which was ironic because I didn't quite like the fragrance, you know, it was a little bit nauseating for me, maybe it disappointed me because I thought it will be a like full-on gourmand, very very creamy, very sweet and thick whereas it's more a uh, summer gourmand, but I caught myself thinking about it and I even was contemplating getting a 10 ml bottle uh, just, you know, to remind myself about this fragrance, but I forgot, time went by and I started to hear about this one, which uh, I will be talking about uh, to you in a moment, Cayer Pistachio from Paris Corner, and I was thinking to myself, hmm, maybe I will give it a try and revisit it one more time and I must tell you, it is now a love. So I will tell you right away about um, Paris Corner Pistachio Cair. This is uh, how the box looks like. It is really, really nice. It has this pistachio color. Everything in those Middle Eastern fragrances now is very high quality. You do not have anything flimsy, anything, you know, um, no cups are chipping off, at least on uh, in my bottles that I have. So I really do appreciate it. If I'm totally honest with you, I do prefer Kayali bottle when it comes to Yam Pistachio Gelato 33. Those Kayali bottles are just beautiful. They are very Instagram friendly. They photo, you know, you make photos of it and they are just, just beautiful on every photo. So this bottle is not my total favorite, but it's not that bad. And there is another dupe, I will tell you, um, from Latafa Pride. It's called Affection. I do not know that one. So I'm only assessing this one when it comes to Paris Corner, but Affection has like more ugly bo bottle for me. So yeah, that's, that's just a side note. So this is Kair and this is the box and this is the bottle. This one is just beautiful, very Middle Eastern looking, expensive looking, and it has this pistachio color uh, here with the glass. The glass is thick, the glass is matte, so if you like matte glass, it will be for you. And I appreciate the cap because it's really sturdy, it doesn't fall off, you need to just pull to open it, so yeah, it is absolutely beautiful. And the atomizer is really, really nice as well. It's doing the fine mist, it is so nice. And the fragrance itself is just, just divine, I must tell you. What do we have in here, in Pistachio Caire from Paris Corner? Uh, in the top notes, we have Italian bergamot, pistachio ice cream, uh, hazelnut, sweet rum and cardamom. Uh, in the heart notes, middle notes, we have geranium, peony, uh, muguet, uh, jasmine, raspberry, peach and pear. And in the base, we have whipped cream, marshmallow, uh, cotton candy, Turkish delight, cacao, uh, cedarwood, sandalwood, and tonka bean. So basically, when it comes to the scent pyramid, for me, it is the same as in the Pistachio Gelato 33. And I must tell you right away, this scent is 99% similar to the original stuff. So if you are on a budget and you are looking for great dupe, look no further. This one is absolutely, absolutely amazing. And I must tell you that recently I smelled uh, Yam Pistachio Gelato again, and I started appreciate it more and more as well. It apparently has macerated because when I first tested it, it, the juice inside was 
indeed very very fresh it was slightly watered down for me hazelnut pistachio sweet scent with very very prominent soapy note to the point that I was slightly nauseous after a couple of hours of wearing it but now when I smelled the original stuff it got potency you know it is more more potent it has more prominent tonka bean note which I absolutely love I absolutely love this tonka bean toasted vanilla uh, you know a smell this flavor it gives the flavor to the scent you know it is slightly almondy vanillic sparkling it gives the fragrance an oomph and indeed now yam pistachio gelato after macerating and sitting down you know for a couple of months it's much much better for me or maybe i got acquainted you know with gourmands more and now i prefer this scent and appreciate it more than a year ago who knows or maybe all of the above you know it has macerated and I'm in love with, with Gourmands right now. So maybe that's my perspective on it now. And this one, I must tell you, when I opened the box and sprayed on myself, this one is already macerated version of Kayali Yam Pistachio Gelato 33. And I know that as the time progresses, it will macerate further. So I expect to, expect to have more of this nutty goodness in here, more even more Tonka, even though Tonka here... It's really, really prominent and you still get the soapiness, you know, because when I was, was first testing Yam Pistachio Gelato, I got this prominent soapy note, as I said before. It wasn't that good for me. It reminded me actually of Dove Shower Gel. It was a Dove Shower Gel in a pistachio scent. Um, like a few years ago, at least here in Poland. I don't know if it's anywhere available anymore. Not sure. I don't think in Poland we have it anymore. But it reminded me of this, you know, of, or some cleaning product, you know, shampoo or shower gel. And this one also have this note, but it is balanced beautifully by those Gourmandy notes, by flowers. It is clean. It is Gourmand at the same time. It is warm, nutty, but fresh. Uh, it has this beautiful citrusy bergamotty opening as well but not too much you know it's just a little bit a little bit zesty when uh, it's opening up and I think it would pair beautifully with other like citrusy gourmand maybe lemon tart from Teodoro Scalotini's or maybe Zerzhov Lira just go and check it out if you have those fragrances I will be checking out with uh, lemon tart for sure because I do have this fragrance in my collection so this one is just just amazing for now, it's just amazing. When it comes to longevity, it survived like a night test because when I have a new fragrance, I like to test if it will last me a night. So after the shower in the evening, I spray myself, I'm going to sleep. And when I wake up in the morning, if I can still smell the fragrance, for me, it's a good longevity. You know what I mean? Because if I cannot sniff anything, as we know, it is not very good, right? So when I uh, woke up this morning, because it is a new fragrance in my collection, so of course I will update you later what is uh, the longevity, has it improved or not. But for now, when I sprayed in the evening and opened my eyes in the morning, I could still smell it in my hair, maybe not as freshly sprayed, but it was lingering, it was there. It was like a delicate scent bubble, very, very nice. And of course, it starts off nutty, clean. Oh my God, it's so good. Actually, it's so, so good. Guys, if you have the chance, just get it. Just get it because it's so, so good. I love it right now so, so much. I even forgot what I was saying, you know. If you have the chance, just get it, you know. If you do not have a coin for pistachio gelato or you do not care about the bottle, I do care, but you know, this just... This juice in here is just amazing, you know, so I do not see the point of owning the original, even though, as I said, those bottles are just, just stunning. I do not see the point. This one is, this, it is doing its job, you know, it is doing its job. If you are craving great fresh pistachio scent, summer gourmand, it will be your scent to go. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, yes, I told you about the longevity, so it survived the night test. For me, it's really, really good. And especially if you are spraying on your hair 
or on your clothes, it will create even more massive scent bubble because when I was testing yesterday, I first sprayed my skin, my arms, and I could smell it, you know, but I had an impression that after three hours, it was very, very faint. I need to press my nose uh, to my hand to smell anything. And of course it was there, but it wasn't that prominent. And um, after that, I resprayed and just sprayed genera genera generously. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I sprayed a, sprayed a lot. That's what I wanted to say. Sprayed a lot on in my hair. And I must tell you, it was lingering and lingering. And I felt the scent bubble all the time around me. So as again, as usual, it will last you more in a hair for sure, on your clothes. Now I have beautiful scent bubble around me. This is just amazing amazing dupe really not too very sweet not too suffocating just so so beautiful for me 10 out of 10 i'm very happy to have this fragrance in my collection because as i said i was contemplating of getting 10 ml at least of yam pistachio to remind myself but now you know when i sprayed yesterday as well i was instantly instantly reminded of yam pistachio so if you like the scent profile you cannot go wrong with this one. Of course, if you are a diehard fan of Yam Pistachio and you know every nuance, maybe it will be different for you in some way. I don't know. For me, it ticks all the boxes. For me, it's fine. For me, it's perfect. For me, it's beautiful. Exactly what I was looking for a warmer days in terms of gourmand because I'm addicted to gourmands right now, as I said, and I cannot get over I need to wear them in the summer as well, so it will be a uh, just, just beautiful option. I don't know, everything changed for me uh, compared to a year ago. I didn't quite like Gourmand fragrances, or maybe I didn't know that many great Gourmand fragrances, and I got to know them through the year, and now I'm absolutely in love. So this one is just, just amazing. So that was it for today. Oh, and one, one layering tip. If you have, if you have Bianco Latte from Giardini di Toscana, Perfume or balm, body balm, combine these two together. I have a perfume, of course, I have a body balm. I absolutely love this fragrance. If you have body balm, just combine those two together because it has obviously vanilla and tonka, it has caramel, it is very sweet, like ice cream, vanilla ice cream, combined with pistachio ice cream. What else can be better, you know? Beautiful. It doesn't overpower this fragrance, so you will be just in a gourmand heaven. So that's that's the tip from me. So yeah, now finally, that was it for today. Let me know, guys, if you know Cair Pistachio from Paris Corner. Did you like it? How do you compare it to um, La Tafa Pride Affection? I won't be getting that clone because I'm fully, fully satisfied with this one. But let me know if you have any thoughts. How do you like Pistachio Gelato 33? Have it, has it changed for you since uh, the last, you know, testing of this fragrance? Because for me, it obviously changed. Now I really, really like it. Thank you very much for watching today and see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.